What's going on everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness and what do cows and grass have in common? They both go moo, except for grass. Hello and welcome to another evening of eating and for some reason I'm in my bathroom. Don't really know why so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to go, oh my god, I'm going to jump, gallop, run, gallivant down the stairs backwards. That's the kind of guy I am. Should probably be in the new Mission Impossible if you're listening. Mission Impossible creators. Uh, now, it is evening, obviously, otherwise this would be not an evening of eating. Um, today is a Friday and it's been a bloody good day so far. Now, if you are not a complete idiot, uh, you would have seen my squat PR on Monday and then my pudding and powerlifting on Tuesday and you'll be fully aware of the fact that I've just hit a PR, squat PR and I'm loving life. Well, actually, I did that today. I literally did it a matter of hours ago. Still uh, loving life, still like woohoo, woohoo, celebrating a bit. Um, now. I have eaten not that much so far today because I was really, really nervous in the morning, so I couldn't eat much other than cereal. And then, uh, training, I was in the gym for ages, I was in the gym for like two and a half hours, almost three hours, I had loads of caffeine and stuff. So then I couldn't eat for ages, so I only had lunch about an hour ago. Um, but I'm now feeling that I need to up my calories a bit because otherwise it's gonna be the worst day of eating ever. So I'm gonna have Good old reliable, look at this boy, look how many freaking packs of cashew nuts I have. So that's some good old reliable cashews. Have a few of those. Then I have stored away somewhere. Oh baby. And like you say, didn't get your hands on those. Some teddy faces there, my go-to snack. Not really a snack because it's literally about one calorie, but they're just enjoyable to eat. And quite frankly, I like smashing this guy in the face. Have some of that, you rat. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna eat those. And chillax, probably have, in fact, I'll tell you what else I'm gonna have. Gonna have, also look what you think of these. Says put these up the other day. Little cool photos. If you watch my video, my days of eating from Portugal, Lisbon, a while back, says took these while we were there. She is pretty good when it comes to arty photography type stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have uh, some orange juice to go with these miscellaneous snacks. Uh, so yeah, I will have that stuff. I'll have the orange juice. Uh, as far as the evening goes, we're gonna go, I believe we're going to a friend's house. So we're gonna go to a friend's house, probably watch a film or something, hang out, get some food, hopefully some exciting food, um, because I need calories and I need excitement. So obviously that would hit two birds with one stone, but I will endeavor to keep you posted as and when things develop. Right, had some nuts, I had like, I guess a quarter of the pack, maybe like 100 grams or so of nuts, which is a good 500 calories, BTW. Um, had the teddy faces, I had a bit of an awkward situation there actually. Um, in that, an old lady was walking past the house. She saw me eating the teddy faces, uh, knocked on the window. I pulled the blind down, obviously in an attempt to kind of get rid of her, lose her. Uh, she then rang on the door, says, being the good Samaritan, let her in. She said about how she loves teddy faces, she hasn't had them in years. Um, I said, you're not having them, this is the last pack of mine. She then went on about how she was starving, hadn't eaten in like two weeks or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, got in a fight. Um, she's dead now, so... Anyway, um, now, we are, like I said, we are definitely now, it's been established, it's been set in stone. We are going to our friends uh, for a kind of a relaxing hangout evening. Um, and I think, I think with a big finger crossed, Needed some assistance there, my fat fingers. The big fingers crossed, I think we are getting pizza, which will be sweet. Uh, obviously, you'll find out soon. Um, in fact, you might already know, because quite frankly, if we're getting pizza, that will probably be the thumbnail, <clears throat> in which case you would have seen that when you clicked on the video, unless, <clears throat> unless the video is one of those annoying ones where you watch a video and then it just kind of takes you straight onto another video and so you don't see the thumbnail. Anyway, by the by, so, <laughs> Jesus, so yeah, we're going there for dinner, for pizza, hopefully. Um, we have uh, made some dessert to bring, because we're like that, we're good people, uh, with the exception of the, the grandma. 
uh, killing. I say grandma, she's an old lady. She might not have been grandma, she could have just been a miscellaneous old lady. Um, we've made these. Let me just expose this a bit. These little beauties. These are mini Banoffee pies. So that is a short paste, a short paste, short bread pastry. What am I? Oh my god, I've broken it. it says, doesn't need to know about that. Um, that is a short bread pastry uh, with obviously the carnation caramel underneath the bananas and then the bananas on top. And then this is the double cream which I whipped into really thick whipping cream. It took me freaking ages to do it. It's an absolute ball lake, but it's nice and thick now. It says to put it in a piping thing, so when we get to their house to keep it nice and fresh, she'll pipe it on top then. Then we're going to maybe shave or, yeah, shave some chocolate, whack it on top, and we will have a finished product, which will be some fantastic uh, little mini banoffee tartlet type things. Anyway, that will be good. We're heading off in like 20 minutes, half an hour, I guess. So I guess... In fact, not a guess. I certainly will catch up with you when we get there. Okay, we're here at our friend's house. I say friend's house, more of a, an associate. I don't really like him. Uh, I'll take you into the kitchen, and this is what we're having. So we have a variety of pizzas. We've got a uh, chikoritsa. That's a stupid name. What's on it? Uh, blah 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 blah. Chicken chikoritsa. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. This is barbecued, pulled and stacked. That sounds good to me. I'll probably be focusing on this one. So that's like barbecue, what's that? Bacon, blah, 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 sweet corn. Yeah, that's decent. That's got my name written all over it. Chicken fajita. That's a stupid pizza option. I'm assuming that's chicken and pepper. And then vegetable supreme. It's just vegetables, I imagine. And then some barbecue potato chips. That's a pretty decent array. So. I would imagine they'll go in the oven in a minute and then we'll just kind of pick and choose bits. I'm definitely going to focus on the barbecue on there because barbecue pizza is incredible. No, I can't actually. <laughs> so still having to don't fault in our stars. Patronise me. Can you hold that down, please? Thank you very much. Oh, right, let's go. What's that from? Oh baby. No, it's just yellow. Whoo! That was quite um, an exotic pizza fest. Uh, I had, I ate the majority of the barbecue one. It was really, really good. Then I just kind of like picked random bits from other ones. Kind of lost track of what I was eating. One of them was quite spicy. Uh, must have eaten like at least a pizza and a half, I reckon. And then I had that awesome uh, little banoffee pie thing. That was quality. Um, and we just kind of hung out and it was really nice. Um, had, what else did I have? Had like a peach passion fruit pineapple drink that was freaking quality as well. And it's now fairly uh, late and I'm fairly tired. So we're gonna head home and I'll catch up with you when we get there. And we are home. And let me show you this. That, as you can quite clearly see, is a wound. That is the result of a burn I obtained whilst picking up a hot plate from the oven. So let there be a lesson to you guys. Don't play with hot things. Anyway, um, it's bedtime. I am tired. And as you all know, my pre-bed ritual is now going to take place. An exciting recent addition. Chocolate Moo Milk. Haven't used this in a while, but it's back on the agenda because I remembered to buy it. Cow. Moo. Chocolate flavoured, 1% fat milk, but amazingly packed full of taste, calcium and natural goodness. That's three good things. So, 
Can't go wrong there. Uh, I'm gonna have some of that. I'm gonna have some protein. Oh, exciting news. I got, uh, is it gonna focus? I got some chocolate smooth flavored protein because I got a bit bored of chocolate mint. Uh, my early review is that. It's good, but I think you need quite a lot of water. If you don't put enough water in, it tastes a bit kind of, I don't know, almost powdery. So if you put a lot of water in, it's nice, uh, but so far so good. I'm going to have some of that. I'm going to have some creatine. I'm actually going to have probably, I normally have five grams of creatine. Normally have five grams of creatine. I'll probably have maybe like one and a half scoops because I'm going to go for a bench PR tomorrow. And that's my weird little routine in my head. I feel like if I have a little bit more creatine, before a PR attempt, it's going to make me feel better. In the same way that I feel like if I drink a monster before a PR attempt, I'm going to do better. Probably all placebos, but they tend to be effective for me, so I'm going to continue doing it. Anyway, that, my friends, is that. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.